Good morning, good morning. Although it's not even morning. It's 12, 17 p.m. So we're 17 minutes past where good morning would have been an appropriate way to introduce this video. But what else? I uh, have had such a great morning. I've, I've really tried to get back into my routine. I got my ass handed to me at the gym today. It was so tough. It was so tough, you guys. I don't know why I thought it was a good idea to go to the gym three times in a row. Sunday, Monday, Tuesday. And all these days were hectic. The move I did, the things I did on Sunday, which was at CrossFit, impossible. It was just a mess. And then Monday, we did 100 box jumps and 100 um, clean, squat cleans. I don't know if this is getting too, like... <laughs> technical in my gym stuff but we're gonna go there um and then today i can't even tell you what we did today i just know that at some point i actually looked at my trainer like do you just like to come up with crazy things so you can punish us and like strength and conditioning tuesdays yo it was tough and the weights as well so like i i, I was walking up the stairs and i just i could feel every part of my body hurts um which is not great, but literally I can feel my shoulders, uh, my arms a little bit, um, my like groin stroke hip. What is it? Uh, I think someone even tried like adductors or something like that. Um, my right heel hurts. So like walking, I'm, I'm seeing myself limping, which is not great, but I have been, I have been stretching more and I'm so proud of myself for that because that was one of my main goals. I've been stretching more. I've been trying to get to the gym at least 10 to 15 minutes before my class starts so I can really like open up my hips, especially my hips. Um, and I like whenever I kind of have any aches and pains that I can ease with the ball, the round balls, I do it. But I think I, I think I need to invest in like a proper stretch situation so like a rolling what is it called the rolling pin it's not what it's called but the one where you can kind of roll uh, roll your body on it and just like allow your muscles to kind of just relax a little bit more i need one of those i think i also need um what is it a band yes i need one of those bands um and just you know a masseuse if i could have those three things good like a sports therapist who can just really help ease out these aches that would be great anyway i have um besides that i came home i didn't do makeup today because i am going to do it later i just wanted to be fresh because i've got a live at 7 p.m today uh i did talk about it in my last video but it's going to be on jimmy and we're going to talk hair and stuff um so i didn't do my makeup today but i did dress up uh and then i have had just back-to-back -back phone calls uh and been trying to make a dent with my emails because i used to be just a few weeks ago i was that girl whose emails like my inbox is at zero i'm not kidding my inbox is at zero and i would take pride in that and now like i started this morning and it was like at 39 and now i'm at 25 so not too bad but i could I could be better um and i'm just gonna try and actually i can't make a dent on it anymore because i need to start editing a video um and then i jumped on the phone with um rena hicks who i have interviewed many times uh on on my show the one i used to have on ntv living with s and she's a financial advisor she is great i actually remember trying to get one of my friends to just reach out to her because i think she's She's got such a nice firm grasp on money and money management and tips and that kind of thing. That kind of thing speaks to my soul. And I love, I love hearing about money. I love hearing about how best to invest, how best to save. Um, and so Rena, who's a, a woman behind Money Wise, um, has partnered up with Africa's Pocket. And I think I'm going to be kind of helping them with a live session. I have also worked with... Uh, other financial uh, advisors in in the past and i i actually even currently have one now and i can't tell you how helpful sitting with him has been in trying to map out what what i want for myself and not what i want for myself next year but like sharon at 50 years old what does that look like how do i get there as fast as i can and as stress-free as i can and as organized as i possibly can be so to be able to have someone like rena who's just an amazing like well 
read and been in the industry for god knows like how many decades years now let me not say decades but like she's been in the industry for a long long time and to be able to pick her brain and ask these questions i think is such a epic opportunity because you don't often get like access to that um and people can be a little bit secretive about like what they want to offer so i'm really excited about that live all right for now i'm going to try and make a dent on this video that i need to edit before we get dolled up. Oh, and I need to wear something nice for the live. I really want to just make it look nice. I want to do my hair a little bit better. I might put one of those ponytails. I'll see which ones to, to add on here. Um, oh God, it's making me get so excited about my wig. Oh, guys. And the visuals I've planned for that. I'm feeling really good about it. Really good. 4.57 PM. Video isn't live yet, but it will be soon. My phone, which uh, has been acting up, I told you guys about it in the last video, that my charger has been acting up and I haven't got a new one yet, almost gave me a scare, like the fright of my life when it wasn't charging my phone. And guess who's hosting the live? So I have to have a fully charged phone? Me. But somehow, I have like twisted it around and it's working now. Um, but my video goes up at 5 p.m. sharp so that's in three minutes but before that when i tell you i am in pain just look at how i'm walking you guys just look at this i am waddling let me just angle it better uh. oh my goodness when i had to leave the house i really just like sucked it in i was like i'm just gonna walk normally i'm just gonna walk normally but i can feel myself like oh oh everything hurts but like in the house i'm just finding myself like ah Ooh, ah. No ma'am, not doing that today. And it's funny enough, one of my favorite uh, YouTubers, um, she's called Natasha Ocean, and she does these really good workout-based, like science, stroke, nutrition, fact-checked videos. It's, she's amazing, I love her. And she's one of the people who helped shift my ideas of beauty and strength and like definition and muscle definition and that being still beautiful and sexy. Um, and so, she posted a video and I think it was like a few days old, but she essentially was talking about the benefits of stretching and how you need to dedicate at least five minutes per muscle or something like that per week in order for you to kind of have the best results when it comes to range of movement. And uh, so I feel like it's all signs and all the signs are pointing to stretch. And that's, what I'm, what, that's definitely what I'm gonna do. Will I actually do this evening? I don't, let me actually be honest. Because my evening looks like it's going to end at like 8.15 work-wise. And then I have to go into mom mode. And then it's just like bang, bang, bang. So maybe not tonight. But I will try. Even if it's like just getting some of the aches here. Anyway, enough of that. Oh, it might be 5 p.m. Let's go check. I did set an alarm though. So I'm sure it would tell me. It's 4.59. 4.59. Um, which means... Um, perfect. God, you guys, that sounded like my pants just tore. I'm gonna have to inspect that when I stand up. No, I don't think it's torn. Ooh, it's fine. Five. I said fine. Where am I going? Where am I going? It's done. This is one of the best feelings in the world. When your video is up, 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 up. <sighs> really, literally one of the best feelings like it's just such a relief i've just now made the announcement that it's up on twitter i've also put up the post on facebook and i just need to do a quick instagram version and then what i'm going to do is i'm going to put you on a time lapse i'm going to make myself a cup of tea and i will do my makeup i still don't know what i'm going to wear tonight um but luckily Fatma lent me her ring light so hopefully whichever direction I face I won't be like stuck to or limited to where the light is facing I'm actually really excited to switch that on and see how that goes but I'm going to just gel my hair well I don't think I actually need to gel it down maybe just wet it and put a, a headscarf on top so that it just remains flat well that didn't go according to plan <laughs> literally completely forgot about this but also because I was kind of panicking because I couldn't, I couldn't access the, um, what is it, Jumia's Instagram, like, to get in for a while. And I was like, 
how am I going to host this live if I can't get in? But um, all's good. I'm in, I've got my setup. The lighting has come through and thank goodness for Fatma because I borrowed this from her. And so the, what I'm going for kind of looks like what you see right now. This is kind of the framing, but I guess it would be like that. Whoops, got cut off for a second. Yo, my big mug of tea is right next to me. <clears throat> um, lipstick of choice is this gorgeous color that I've talked about many times and I'm panicking over because I can't see it anywhere being sold. Um, but I just love it so much. I'm just gonna do a quick touch up. Although I don't think I actually need it. I probably don't need it. I actually don't, but I'll still do it. I am wearing a shop new level, sorry, top. I'm just checking the time to see how we're doing. If that dog interrupts my life, like how all dogs interrupt all my YouTube videos, or if there are kids screaming, I'm gonna lose it. And I can't do anything because it's alive. Oof, wish me luck. Um, but I'm wearing a Nancy Moyes Shop New Level top. I got this a while back, but I just haven't found the right place or opportunity to wear it. And I just felt like now is a good time. I sort of feel like I'm giving like cool teach cool school teacher vibes, right? Because I don't know if my school teacher would have worn this, but it kind of does give you like a a, I don't know, modest, kind of preppy, but stylish, put together, demure vibe. <laughs> okay. Five more minutes to my live, ladies. Hello, you guys. Look who has different hair. Hola. I, um, I'm taking photos. I'm with Sabrina right there, who's been behind some of Fatma's epic photos on Instagram. I'm gonna insert a couple here so you can see what I'm talking about because it is fire. And so we are working on trying to get some epic shots of one, the hair, and two, me, because it's my birthday in a couple of days. Well, it depends on when this goes up. Ooh, it must be so windy too. I hope you can hear me. Um, but we're just trying to get some nice lifestyle-y type shots. So I'm gonna leave you here and but then Amani and Fatma, who are helping out, don't want to be seen. So this is a challenge, a challenge. You sure you don't want to? Yeah, Amani. arrived at the prettiest space ever it's so charming and unique and has its own little quirks and, and I have to show you guys I have to show you guys I'm just gonna do the quickest tour I'm here with Patricia and some friends I won't vlog the trip because it's not like a it's just, it's I don't want to vlog the trip that's why I think it's primarily just to kind of take time out and just relax but I also do want to capture this because I know like I just know I'm going to want to capture this and I'm going to want to kind of look back. Even editing it will make me feel all kinds of vibes. Um, right, I'm gonna stop talking. Uh, but first, let me tell you where we are. We are at uh, the container house. Um, and it's about, uh, I wanna say like a 45 minute drive from Karen. Was it about that much? Yeah, from Karen, yeah. Really close, but the views, ugh, I'm gonna stop talking and show you. Let me turn it around.
Hello, you guys. Oh my goodness. I am not kidding. I had to go back to previous footage to know exactly what I'd filmed the last few times because I haven't started editing this video and I started filming clips, bits and pieces like two weeks ago and I was like, what have I talked about? So I haven't watched the previous clips but I just know that there was a, there was a live event, right? Yeah, there was a live event and then there was like a trip that I remember because it was just this weekend and in between, I can't even remember what was in between but anyway, hello. I am now 32. <laughs> That's been a major development. I turned 32 last week and I don't know why I'm already like, oh my goodness, should I be like checking my eggs? Is there something that I should be doing when it comes to like making sure that my hip and my joints are like running smoothly? And I know to some people they'll be like, Jesus, you're just 32, calm down. But also I can feel that my body is different. Like physically I feel. I can see the changes and the things that are a little bit different. So I'm, in, I'm probably in my head a little bit, but for good reason, I would say. <laughs> um, but yeah, so I turned 32. It was an odd day and, and maybe I'll talk about that in another video because I want to dedicate a video to like 32 lessons I've learned um, now that I'm 32. And I might talk about what that day was for me. It was a little bit difficult, not going to lie. Um, but uh but it was a beautiful day though because in the evening i spent it with the people closest to me i think we were about 10 in total um and people i love the most and it was just really nice and intimate and then this weekend went to uh what is it called again the container house and i knew i wasn't going to vlog much so i'm not surprised that there's nothing <laughs> there's nothing pat beyond the little clip which gives you uh, tour but the essence of the, the reason I was going away was not to get into vlogging but I just knew once I got there that I wanted to share it because the pictures did not catfish me and I was nervous that like oh is the view really gonna be as good as it looks in the photos it was it was even better I don't I don't know but it was really great um, and then another interesting thing about that place is that there's no electricity the entire day except for between 6 p.m. and 6 p.m. and 10 p.m. Uh, let me just let me just change some a setting there I think that's better um, so because there's no electricity at least for me I found that I wasn't on my phone as much as I usually am um, it, there was a lot of reading books playing games um what else was done and just kind of lazing about it was just good for the soul um and it kind of it was what i needed to make me feel like i want to get back on track it was it was exactly what i told myself i'll be doing but i haven't done in the last couple of months it only took me march to be able to do it and it was such a lovely thoughtful gift as well because it was a present um and i don't know if i would have done it for myself if it wasn't a present from someone I I'm not sure I would have taken the time to do it which isn't what I planned out for the year and I think it's partly why I'm finding myself losing track a little because I'm not being intentional about the breaks oh but it was really good and I have to say I also only found out about it when it was uh, uh, posted on this is essential because one of the writers was talking about like nice Airbnb spots around the country I'll link it in the description box for you just in case you want to check that out the article and when I saw it I was like oh my goodness this is insane I want to do it I want to go there and it um, it all worked out perfectly and then what else happened last week oh I had a live event oh and I think I told you about that at the start of this vlog at a live event on Thursday evening with Rena Hicks around um, investable I'm sure I told you about that because I remember vlogging that part and talking about it briefly I will link that in the description box as well so you can check it out it was a one hour long chat about money there were like really great questions that came in I also asked her a personal question when it comes to school fees education fund policies and all of that um, what else was discussed and then investable as well um i'll leave a link besides the link to the youtube video that we did um which is going to be on rena's channel i 
also will leave a link to like a blueprint which gives you an idea of what the course is about which the program the the like five six week program um where you get to just dive into all investment questions uh options ideas conversations around just where to put your money so that it grows for you what else happened last week what else happened yeah my birthday the live event and then the weekend away and then this morning i woke up and i had it's I, I felt okay but when i came back from the gym i had a migraine and i don't usually get migraines so it took me a second to understand what was happening but it was so bad that i thought i was going to throw up it was really like i had to lie down for a bit like close the curtains as well because just things just felt like they were aggravating the pain i took some medicine and i've felt okay but there's some moments where i'm not a hundred but basically what i've been doing is just sat at the table right there which is an absolute mess <laughs> oh lord it's just got like so much stuff that in my mind i'm like yep i need to deal with this so i'm gonna put this here so that later i deal with it and some of that stuff has been there for at least one month which is not great that's not how i like to do things and i but at least I've been ticking things off. I've been ticking things off, so it's not too too bad. You should have seen my house last week. It was filled with flowers. You can see a little bit at that corner. So there's like two vases there. There's one there. There's another. Oh, there's even a little one, a tiny little one too, like a with a eucalyptus, a smaller one. It was so nice. I just wish my house was always filled with flowers like that. Anyway, <laughs> let me show you what I'm wearing today. Uh. <laughs> let's not talk about that even though i think we should that is just just it's just absolutely dreadful god was it focused before i've just realized i changed the settings and i made them worse i hope you could see me okay in the last couple of minutes because i just realized i actually messed up the settings and and i thought i was making it i thought i was making it better but i may have made it worse um anyway my dress of choice today is this shop zetu number it's just so easy comfortable i've mostly been in the house i've just left once and it's not that short either so i don't feel mega uncomfortable or like worried that i'm going to have to keep pulling it down uh back to this because i feel like it must be addressed truthfully my house is just in need of some loving i just need like proper plants i need to be focused it is one of the things i wanted to do this year you can even see i've got like another potted plant there that i not potted plant I've, I've got another pot that would you know would be great if i had a little plant in there but it's empty and that's the only one that seems to have survived but even that isn't looking too great like i'm I'm not 100%, although I've really been trying to just be as consistent as possible, set my alarm if I need to so I can just like remember to water it. And it's looking okay. But for now, just honestly, look at these flowers. Uh, I'm not sure what this kind of flower is called, but I think it's so, so beautiful. I wish I knew the name. I'm gonna ask next time I'm out flower shopping, but I love it. And then there's like that little bud with eucalyptus and then these two babies Ugh. and they lasted the best too because there were more flowers roses specifically uh i can see like one is struggling to <laughs> to stay alive here but it's a real struggle also i don't know if i told you guys who sent this to me i think it may have been maybelline actually i think it was but these are going to last about a year and they're real they're like legit like if i tore a little piece here which i'm not gonna do but if i oh uh, maybe i can see that like that's like real i don't know how they preserve them to make them last this this long but they it's just beautiful um and for now they're gonna stay here although i feel like i could put them somewhere else that would match better uh, a funny little story about this i took it to uh, the cottage no the container house this weekend and just because I thought it would be nice to kind of have a scent while we're there. And in the evening, because there was no electricity past 10 p.m. And we would kind of, you know, want to stay up a little bit later. I lit this and lo and behold, there were so many bugs that went in. So 
you won't you probably won't see it now and there's probably nothing to show oh no you can see a little tiny one at the corner there but this was filled with insects like at least eight moths and other little things that look like mosquitoes i tried to scoop as much of it out as i could but you can tell i didn't do the best job because there's something at the corner there but now that will definitely always remind me of the container house which is great oh the sun is acting up a little bit so i'm not really in position in the right position at least but i came in here because it is now i think about 20 minutes to six which means it's time to get out of these clothes i might actually even take a shower that's what i want i want to take a shower where is the best place to be i don't know i'm trying to find where it's most ideal but i'm gonna take a shower yeah and then get into like the coziest clothes take my makeup off uh put my hair in nice little protective plaits and just like oil it and put some cream on it and all of that good moisture stuff um and end it here but i've just posted some photos that i thought w i just wasn't sure you know how you know how in this country, people can be a little bit um, uptight about what your body needs to look like. I'm going to move you because this lighting is just a mess. Now I'm not trying to look for or avoid the sun. But you know how people can be a little judgmental about do you have clothes on? Do you have enough clothes on? What can I see? What can I not see? And the photos I put up, which I must have shown you a clip of by now from my birthday photo shoot type thing that I was doing um, at my parents uh, yard garden <laughs> yard those photos I just it's people I have been been pretty open to to them which is great which makes me want to push the envelope a little bit more because the real Sharon versus the Sharon that is online obviously online I've got to be a little bit more aware that there's thousands of people who are going to be watching and judging and commenting and i had to change the battery so we've changed positions once again and this actually works too um but i was just saying you know how like in my heart of hearts i want to be able to post up like photos where rihanna or savage x fenty could look at and be like we need her we need her to be in our PR list, in our like partnership list of influencers that they want to work with. I would want to just be as free as I, you know, I, I feel like I'm becoming. Uh, but online, I definitely have a lot more things to consider and I find myself holding back and questioning things and second guessing things. And, and I also understand why why i do that i get that i'm not going to give myself the hardest time um we do live in a very conservative society here in kenya and uh but i'm i'm slowly going to be pushing that and just and put and pushing back and allowing the real version of me to come out uh yeah you know that was my word for 2021 you know it was freedom that's what i wanted i wanted freedom in 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 very many forms uh and i think freedom of expression is one of them and the freedom to create the art that i want to create and the images that i want to create and i'm just going to slowly ease myself into that i want to slowly ease myself into that and you know and as much as I, I kind of suggested to you that my 32nd birthday like there was a lot of anxiety on that day and it was just around what I was feeling that I hadn't done I hadn't accomplished I hadn't moved forward with certain things I was disappointing people I was just really overwhelmed but there are certain things that I've done right and Mondi bless her soul when I was messaging her just saying like I'm not feeling a hundred percent she took the time to list down all the things that that she feels that I've done right and that are worth celebrating but I didn't actually do that for myself I didn't take time to do that for myself and I think that's what I'm gonna do this evening in like the most relaxed way I might just start on that list slowly just slowly start on that list 
but I'm gonna say goodbye now. I'm gonna say thank you as well for watching and that I will see you very soon. And um, I hope you're having a great week so far. Thanks for watching. I'll leave all the links to the things I've talked about, things I'm wearing in the description box. And I will see you.